Alright everybody, I'm out here in the garage this morning and I'm still working on my cup of coffee and of course got the cat out here with me and you know yesterday I uh, finished up my 63 Chevy 2 Nova Wagon Pro Street <coughs> excuse me and it had that issue on the back with the paint and everything where that glue had ran down and you know what I think this old boy, that grin on his face, I think he was I think he was making fun of me so that old boy better watch it or he'll end up in a box let me get these out of the way here we'll I've got, uh, I've been looking at my stash, and, and after I get my 55 Chevy Pro Street done, it's all basically together. It's, uh, I've, I've got the white paint on it. I need to clear it, but uh, like always around here, it's pouring down rain again today, and we've got severe thunderstorms coming in, uh, uh, tornado watch this afternoon, high winds, so the weather is just terrible. But as soon as I get that 55 Pro Street done, uh, I'm going to be looking for another project. Of course, I've still got my shop truck I'm working on, but I can work on that slow because that's I've got all year to do that. So I've been looking at my stash, and I think I came up with my next kit to start on. I like this one right here. <clears throat> this is the 40 Willys pickup. Now, I know there's some issues with this, with the, the way the... the Tilt front end way it matches up to the body here that little section of the body here. I know there are some issues with it <coughs> So uh, I've been kind of thinking about How I might tackle that and I've been doing some research online. I've seen guys uh, Actually glue this front section onto that body piece and then cut the hood off uh, I've seen guys that have cut this small section off and glue it to the hood and Do it that way. I just I haven't I haven't got that far yet, but I have got the box open. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and open the box here and show everybody. But I have got the box open, and I've actually been doing some of the body work on it. Let me get the body out here. The main pieces. These these are the main issues right here. I think the uh, it doesn't look too awful bad. The fit right there, it's going to be hard to hold it up here and show it, but uh, that fit right there on the rear section of the fender, the lower part. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but uh, I've already been body working this. And boy, this has got some big old sinks in the cab corners, and I've already sanded a lot of this off. That's going to have to all be filled in, and because uh, that those are big sinks. That's pretty rough. So I got I'm I've got a lot of the most of the flash cleared off of these, but uh, this section's not too bad. I got it cleaned up pretty good. I still need to sand some more on it, but uh, it's looking a lot better. But I just haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do with that just yet. Um, here's some more of the parts and plastic pieces in the bag. A lot of goodies. Here's the frame. Looks like the front half might glue on there. Not sure. It looks like it. There's a little really video rear fenders that go on there. I call them motorcycle fenders. <clears throat> and here's the body tub. Looks like it's got a couple of good spots in there for the seats to mount. Little peg sticking up. That's got some pretty rough spots on. Here's another big bag that I haven't even opened yet. Got all the engine parts and the, uh, a lot of parts for the frame. I'm not going to open it just yet, but uh, <clears throat> and then of course we get the bag with all the chrome in it, which doesn't look too awful bad. Got some nice looking wheels there for it. And I think, you know, when I build this one, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go stock with it. Here's a, the rear tires there. I don't know if you can see it. They're actually red line tires. The slicks for the back, the little cheater slicks. And these skinny old baloney rinds for the front. That's the way they did back in the day. They had really small tires in the front and, and uh, big old tires in the back. And then... Last but not least, the uh, 
the glass, which they give you red glass and clear, and I'll probably go with the clear. And then the, here's a steel axle. And the, uh, of course, get decal sheet. I'm not going to open the decal sheet just yet. I haven't even looked at the instructions yet. Uh, <clears throat> not much to them. Starting off with the engine on number one. Working your way through it. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think this is going to be my next kit I'm going to start on. And, uh, I'm going to do this one pretty much stock. Haven't even decided on the color or anything yet. I just haven't got that far. But, uh, I kind of like the box art. I think that looks pretty cool. That's a good looking box art. I like that white pickup. I don't care for the Coca-Cola on it, though. I don't think <laughs> I'd do anything with that, but uh, look at that blown engine there. It looks pretty cool. I like that. But we'll see. I didn't even look to see what year this was issued, reissued, I should say. I don't see a date on it. It's probably on here somewhere and I'm missing it, but I don't I don't see a date anywhere here on it. Anyway, so that's gonna be my next build and uh, I've still gotta do a little bit of research and find out what I'm gonna do with this cab section and the, and the tilt front end on how I'm gonna uh, tackle that issue there. Well, I was, <laughs> you know, I was wanting to get a, uh, an easy kit to work on, but I never seemed to get that. I think they're all, uh, they've all got their issues in one way or another, but, uh, well, here's the, uh, I just saw, here's the front end and the, laying in the bottom of the box for the front section of the frame. I think that's that front section right there. Yep. But, I think that's going to be my next kit, this 40 wheelies pickup. And uh, I'm going to do a lot of research and see uh, what fellas have done with this front end. And uh, if y'all, if if, if you, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have already built this, uh, leave me some comments on uh, what you did with this uh, tilt front end and how you uh, remedied the problem on the uh, fit issue right here, right here on that. Because uh, this is the way it operates, you know, when it's together, it's supposed to swing down and match up, and I just don't think they match up that all that decent. So. Leave me some comments down below on what y'all did and uh, how you remedied that, remedied that problem when you got to it, you know, when you built this kit. I guess that's about all I've got. Um, I did on my 63 Nova that I posted a video yesterday uh, about the back of it. I mean, get it here because I've actually been working on it. I, uh, you can see there where I've got this sanded down. It's rough to get in there to sand that, but I've got it sanded down. And I was going to try and repaint that. I got lucky because this this body, actually, there was no clear shot on it. It was just polished. Uh, I just polished the paint because it was good enough. So I'm just going to mask this area off and, and just lightly hit that. And hopefully I can uh, do it some justice. So I have been working on that. So other than that, fellas, uh, I just want to uh, uh, show you the, my what my next project is going to be. And I'm not going to be getting on this too soon just yet. I'm doing a little body work, but that's about all. But uh, I want to get my 55. I, I got to get it. I've got it in white. Here's the hood for it. Uh, I need to get some clear on this and, and get this thing rocking and rolling. I've, I've got everything pretty much done on it. I just need to uh, get the clear on it and then uh, tackle that bare metal foil once again and... Uh, Go from there, but uh, yep, forty willies is forty willie pickup is my next is my next victim here. So, uh, all right, fellas, I think that's about it.